fellow latecomer to Ellen's little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, my good lady. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain than to any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. There's not enough drinking in the world today, wouldn't you agree? Uh, maybe? I will just... Welcome rest. to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Here you go. Thank you, Mom. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order, sir. Welcome back, sir. Yes, yes. Now, find myself a drink. <sighs> Welcome. I don't believe we've met. Yeah. I am Ellenwyn, uh, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? The Grey Quarter in Windhelm is little better than a... Uh, hi. It's yeah. shameful. Pleased to meet you. Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, Madam tell me more about I'm yourself. So what brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? Yeah. What is it, Malborn? They seem to it's think just that, that we've at least run out of the Alto sure wine. Exaggerate. Do I have your permission to uncork the Arinthia Red? And influence so they can save of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. <laughs> These Stormcloaks are nothing more than an armed mob. This war won't last much longer. I couldn't agree more. By the way, have you heard any interesting rumors lately? Have you visited Rorikstead lately? No matter how harsh the winter, the crops that grow there never falter. Even when every other farm in the hold is barely scraping by, the harvest of Rorikstead is always bountiful. Is it good fortune? The blessings of the divines? Who knows? These storm cloaks are nothing more than an armed mob. This war won't last much longer. I know just what you mean. Heard anything interesting lately? News or gossip? Well, I did hear that Ulfric Stormcloak <coughs> was slain while defending Windhelm against a dragon. But it sounds too good to be true. I'll wager it was Ulfric himself. I don't recall seeing you at one of these before. And I know everyone who's anyone in Skyrim. Is my staff To maintain relationships. By the way, I don't know who you are, but unless you want me to blow your cover, I'd advise that you avoid me for the rest of the party. We have a relationship of mutual respect. I care little about the politics and rivalries between the Thalmor and the Empire. But I do well, respect power, and the Thalmor have that. The they leave me alone, and I leave them alone. Until next time. I find these parties such a dreadful bore. Come and visit me in solitude sometime. As much as can be expected. I hope you're enjoying yourself, ma'am. More or less. Call you have need. Here you go, miss. Colovian brandy. Until next time. This war has taken a toll on the merchants of Skyrim. Let's hope that it ends soon. I find these parties such a dreadful bore. Speak truly. Oh, I've heard any interesting rumors. They're a bore, why? The East Empire Company has interests all across Tamriel, inside and outside the Empire's borders. We try not to get involved in politics. However, as the head of the company, it's my job to make sure we maintain good relationships with prospective partners and investors. Yeah, 
A delicate question, to be sure. I'm the Emperor's cousin, and the Empire has little love for the Thalmor. On the other hand, the Thalmor have considerable funds and are looking to expand their shipping. I haven't signed any deals yet, but I'm sure my cousin would want to cut if I do. What better way to soothe his wounded pride? By the way, have you heard any... Come and visit me in solitude sometime. Well, there might be nothing to it, but I've heard that... The man who knows how to make money in war can be a most profitable venture. Greymane is convinced that the Battleborns have abducted one of her sons. I hope they'll serve the What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ah, <sighs> oh, pardon me, friend. I didn't see you standing there. Allow me to introduce myself. Rosalon. Imports and exports by trade. Observer of human nature by avocation. They're only allowed on the city docks. Here. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Yeah, I'll, I'll... Your wish is my command. As long as it doesn't involve much physical activity. I seem to be having trouble staying on my feet at the moment. I did hear something rather interesting the other day. Apparently, ah. the Red Wave has been docked Don't in solitude for well up. over a month, and with Seriously. no sign of shipping out anytime soon. Uh, Some say the ship's Do I know you? I didn't think so. And Captain no. Sophia can't afford the repairs. Yeah. Of course, she would uh, never fix such a thing. That's putting it mildly. <laughs> The Thalmor invite me here to remind everyone that they can tell the Empire what to do. I would refuse, but I don't want to jeopardize the peace between us. Splendid, thank you. Splendid. Call if you have need. Uh... Ellen Wynn is a formidable woman. She lacks for neither cunning nor ambition. Now that I think of it, she would have made a fine Imperial general. Keep an eye on these Thalmor, uh, you never know. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. I'm ready. Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. I'll wager it was Ulfric himself that started the rumor. Maybe he thought it would bolster recruitment. Just between us, I've got more important things to do than attend these meaningless parties. Is it that obvious? I should take pains to seem more happy. I wouldn't want to upset our host. But the truth of it is, I have a mountain of paperwork back in Windhelm, and it's not getting any smaller. I just hope this party doesn't drag on all night. Ill luck. I'm a busy man, and I don't have time for this sort of frivolity. But at the same time, I don't dare refuse an invitation from Ellenwyn. Uh, uh, I'm gonna of course. I mean, assuming you don't want me to kill someone for you, <laughs> I might have to draw the line there. Uh, well, I just That's it? Sure. Shouldn't be too hard. I usually end up making a fool out of myself without even trying. Watch this. <laughs> hey, Razalan. Remember when you told me I'd never amount to anything? Well, I don't think you should say things like that about the Ambassador. What? I didn't... Hmm? No, I know listen, you're drunk you as usual, but I that's would no excuse never for insulting insult our hostess. Your, but that is to say, Let's go. Let's go. Anyone before anyone see. notices us. Yeah. I've known plenty of elves who are perfectly decent people. Razlan, and you promise to behave yourself this time. Remove him. He's disturbing. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden. The larder. 
Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it. Follow me. There's no need to have him thrown out on my account. Absolutely not. Who comes, Marlboro? You know uh, I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. All right. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw. Need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Did Good you luck. see those robes You're marching on your own this now. morning? Who are they with? More of the emissary's treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, Maybe we'll get lucky, and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> well, we'd better get back to our rounds. Yes, I have. Well, honestly, it was a long
has brought you such valuable information, have they? Etienne, he's talked, has he? He knows where that old man is you're looking for. He told me himself. You'll get the rest of your money when we confirm his story, has he? So he has talked. I knew it. Everyone talks. Now, I have work. Lead me to it if ever you want to see the rest of your payment. Can I... I could help you. He talked to me. He trusts me. You'd like to come downstairs with me, is that it, Kissa? Shall we loose his bonds and put you in a sleep? Together? You can ask him anything you'd like and see how he answers. No, no, I'll... I'll wait outside. That would probably be best. Get out. Rollandil. 
One day the shoe will be on the other foot. Silence. You know the rules. Do not speak unless spoken to. Master Robin will ask for the rules. That's about wheat. Let's begin again. No. You know the rules. I've already told you everything. I told you. I don't know anything else about it. I'm not here. What? Don't shoot your man. Who? What? What do you want then? Yeah. Sure. Uh, okay. Come on. This way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. You go ahead. No problem. Thanks for springing me. I owe you. Look me up in Riften if you make it out. Bye there. Never should have come here. Rather what? Come on. We're getting out. Hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. You're welcome.
seriously? Let's go kill some ass.
kidding. Wolf Queen, hear our call and awaken. We summon a Pema. A Pema? Really? We, we summon, summon a Pema. Pema. Long have you slept the dreamless sleep of death, Pema. No longer. Hear us, Wolf Queen. We summon you. Oh, that was, that was, that, that was, that was, that was satisfying. Uh. Really? Uh, okay. Something is wrong. There is an intruder. Oh, now you...
You've returned? Yes. Good. What did you find at Wolf Skull Cave? Necromancer Sony Tamer. Oh, Tamer herself? Please tell me you stopped them. They should get out. Yeah. Stretch You've done a larger service to the realm than you could possibly know. A resurrected Potema. I shudder at the thought. Oh, <laughs> it's. There's something personal I was hoping you would do for me. Oh. Okay, I did. Falk told me what you did for us at Wolf Skull Cave. He says you're someone we can trust. As you may know, Talos worship is outlawed in the Empire. When we buried my husband, I made offerings to all the gods, except Talos. I would like you to take an item of his, a war horn handed down from his father, and place it at a shrine of Talos. Would be honored. Thank you. It would mean a lot to me. I'm right behind you. Talos guide you. I'll fight the entire Legion myself if they dare show their faces here. My hatred for the Empire is bested only by love for my countrymen. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to the fort. Meet the That's brothers it. preparing for the attack. Then join them in wiping out the Imperials. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. What do you say? Can you do this? Go. Of course. You've got real fire in you. I like that. Talos, guide you. I'm advancing the rear.
This is it, men. It's time to make this city ours. We come to this moment carried by the sacrifices and courage of our fellows. Those who have fallen, those still bearing the shields to our right. We rule! Our enemy will know the fullness of our determination, the true depth of our anger, and the exalted righteousness of our cause. The gods are watching. The spirits of our ancestors are stirring. And men, under suns yet to dawn, will be transformed by what we do here today. Fear neither pain nor darkness, for sovereign God awaits those who die with weapons in their hands and courage in their hearts. We now yeah. fight our way to Castle Dawa to cut the head off the Legion itself. And in that moment, the gods will look down and see Skyrim as she was meant to be, full of lords who are mighty, powerful, and free! Ready now, <laughs> everyone, with me, for the sons and daughters of Skyrim! Yeah! I'll fight the entire Legion myself if they dare show their faces here. Skyrim back from those who leave her to rock. Uh, guys? You're wrong, Alfred. We need the Empire. Without it, Skyrim will surely fall to the Dominion. You were there with us. You saw it. Guys, the day the Empire you. signed that damn treaty was the day the Empire died. The Empire is weak, obsolete. Look at how far we've come with so little. 
When we're done rooting out the Imperial influence here at home, then we will take our war through the Old Mary Dominion. You're a damn fool. Stand aside, woman. We've come for the General. He has given up, but I have not. Rekka, go. You're free to leave. I'm also free to stay and fight for what I believe in. You're also free to die. This is what you wanted? Shield brothers and sisters killing each other? Families torn apart? <clears throat> this is the Skyrim you want? That's not the Skyrim I want. Rika, you don't have to lose. You've left me no choice. Talos, preserve us. This is it for you. Any last words before I send you to live? You realize this is exactly what they wanted. What who wanted? The Thalmor. They stirred up trouble here. Forced us to divert needed resources and throw away good soldiers quelling this rebellion. It's a little more than a rebellion, don't you think? Ah. We aren't the bad guys, you know. Maybe not, but you certainly are the good guys. Perhaps you're right. But then what does that make you? You just said it yourself. It makes us right. And if I surrender? The Empire I remember never surrendered. That Empire is dead. And so are you. So be it. Just kill him and let's be done with it already. Come, Galmar. Where's your sense of the dramatic moment? By the gods. If it's a good ending to some damn story you're after, perhaps the Dragonborn should be the one to do it. What? Good point. Well, Dragonborn, what do you say? Do you want the honor? Soon enough, we will march on Solitude. And on that day, the heroes of Southern Guard will march with us, and the Empire will fall to us in fear. It's done. Be careful, then. Well, I... Huh. Some kind of speech is in order. I'll go gather the men in the courtyard. And Elisif? Don't you worry about her. I've sent my best men to round her up. Stormblade, I want you to have my sword, a token of my appreciation. Now then, the men will expect a speech. Will you stand by my side? I wish to honor you. Dragonborn, and the truest of Stormcloaks. Of course. Very good. Come, the people have made us. Yes, take it quick. I'm a busy man. Be careful out there. Stormcloak, and at my side the woman we know as Stormblade, and the world knows as the Dragonborn. Uh, and indeed, there are many that call us heroes. But it is all of you who are the true heroes. It was you who fought a dying empire, who sunk its claws into our land, trying to drag us down with it. 
It was you who fought the Thalmor and their puppets who would have us deny our gods and our heritage. It was you who fought your kin who didn't understand our cause, who weren't willing to pay the price for our freedom. But more than that, it was you who fought for Skyrim, for our right to fight our own battles. To return to our glory and traditions, to determine our own future. And it is for these reasons that I cannot accept the mantle of High King. Not until the moot declares that title should adorn my shoulders will I accept it. What about Jarl Elisif? Yes, what about the Lady Elisif? Well, she put aside her personal hatred for me and her misplaced love for the Emperor and his coin so that the suffering of our people will end. Will she acknowledge that it is we Nords who will determine Skyrim's future? Will she swear fealty to me so all may know that we are at peace and a new day has gone? I do. Then it is settled. The Jarl will continue to rule Solitude. I will garrison armies here to ward off Imperial attempts to reclaim the city. And in due time, the Moot will meet and settle the claim to High King once and for all. There is much to do, and I need every able-bodied man and woman committed to rebuilding Skyrim. A great darkness is growing, and soon we will be called to fight it on these shores or abroad. The Old Mary Dominion may have defeated the Empire, but it has not defeated Skyrim! How'd I do? <clears throat> not so bad. Interesting. Nice touch about the High King. Thank you. I thought so too. It's a foregone conclusion, you know. Oh, I know. The Imperials are not going to leave us alone. Interesting. They still have camps in the hills. They'll continue to strike out at us whenever and wherever they can. I'm not afraid of the remnants of the Legion. In time, they'll all give up and go home. What I fear is that the Thalmor will see our victory here and turn greater attention to our shores. We must be prepared to face them. Die. And of course, we couldn't have done it without you. May the gods preserve you. May the gods preserve us all. Come, Dalmar. We've still much work. Yes. Work. Slayers. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Uh, first, first. We got rooms and... Yeah. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men... I'll show you to your room. Yeah. Right this way. All right. I just... He, he'll talk to me. Yeah. Alive, at least. Joyful Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Yeah. Did you learn anything useful? Wine, and song. The farmer had well, no at nothing. Least three of them. Really? Like to be. That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Yes. Sorry, they're looking for someone named Esbern. Esbern? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. Far too much faith in our children to make a better tomorrow. Yeah, you mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. So, Ironic, the right? Dragons. The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. <laughs> Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. 
Do they know where he is? The, ooh, well, in Riften. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. He'll know what it means. Okay, then. Okay. There's... I don't suppose you'll carry some of this for a while. I no, was hoping you you'd fall. say that. I'll be going now. 